general, just has the new offense been with you? You know, uh, it's it's fairly well. Um, it's new, but not really new because uh, in the previous offense before Coach Bell arrived or Coach Loxley, we ran a similar offense. So I'm kind of familiar with the plays that we run. Um, so picking it up wasn't that hard, but it always always new things. You it's still like you got muscle memory and everything like that. So once I picked it up, picked everything up, everything went smooth. So now it's just about helping the young guys learn. And speaking of young guys, how have you just how have you seen Anthony McFarland grow? Man, that kid. I know him since he was about eight years old. So like just watching him grow up and all the work that he put in, I'm, I'm, I'm super proud of him. Just every day that I get a chance to see him make a big play. Just boost his, his ego up, but not too much. But just tell him keep working, things like that. Javon, with DJ gone, uh, Coach Sherko was talking about how you're kind of naturally stepping into that number one role. Do you, do you feel like you are that guy and that you're carrying that weight? Um, it's every day I step on the field. I want to step on the field with confidence and just tell myself I'm the best on the field, regardless of who on the field, either side of the ball. And that was my mentality last year. You know, every time I step on the field, you know, my father raised me to be that way. Um, so from that standpoint, yeah, I think I'm, I'm th I think I'm the best on the field whenever I'm on the field. Uh, but I don't, I don't take, I don't, I take the mentality to just keep working with that chip on my shoulder that I had since I first came in, and that's just to go out, go out on the field and be the best that I can be every day. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C., Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Do you feel that going in motion and being a jet sweep option makes you harder to cover? Uh, yeah, it actually uh, improvises my game as well because I get to show everybody that I can do more than just run routes and catch, you know, passes and touchdowns. I can get jet sweeps, uh, return game. I can do it all, whatever they need me at on the field. Was coming back for another year, was that like a no-brainer decision for you, or did you have to think about that at all? Um, it, it was it was tough because I, I talked it over with my family, and and I felt like I could have came out this year and, and still been able to, to be productive and hopefully get on somebody's team. Um, but just to come back and try to boost my stock and put my family in a better position and myself in a better position to go higher and, and be better. Because you and Baker talked about, talked about how they depend on you for their rehab. Uh, how much are you trying to help those guys? How important is that? Well, as y'all already know, I've been through a lot of uh, surgery. So just every guy, that, every guy that, that had knee surgery since I've been here, I try to encourage them. And tell them like, look at me, man. I've, I've I've been through it all, so I know how. I'm still standing here. I'm still here. So if you ever need anything, come talk to me. You know, I, cause I already know how it is. It's not really the physical part; it's the mental part. And and for me to just like keep keep in mind, keep it keeping it here, and just let them know like you still you. You know what I'm saying? You you still the best uh, person that you can be. And and not even just football, just you know, off the field, family, like everything, just standing ahead and encouraging. Me, so. Um, I had to take a different approach because I'm not a very talkative guy. So for me to change my role and to try to be a little more vocal and, and tell guys like, look, this is what you could work on. This is what you could be better at. Even if it's just like two words, like do this right or switch up. Like anything I could do to help like make them a better player so that they can get on the field and pro produce for their family. I tried to do that. And when we're in a film room, it's just, just everybody. It's, knowledge of the game. What's your brother up to these days? Yeah, uh, he, he, so hopefully he, he did pro day. Um, it wasn't, I don't, was it here? No, it wasn't here. Uh, Cause I was in class, so I didn't really see it. But, um, so hopefully he get picked up. He got some teams looking at him, so hopefully he get picked up and, and everything else is in God's hands. So I'm in this corner where whatever happens, football or, or not, I'm going to support my brother regardless. So. Of the receivers, the young guys, maybe some guys that played behind you last year, do you see anyone kind of stepping up in that group? Uh, I feel like they all stepped up. They really don't have no choice. We don't have a lot of veteran guys, so they have to step up. They have to take on that role 
to get on the field because we, we need as much guys as we can and that the, the job is there for the taking so they just have to go take it. I mean just kind of looking to last year I mean it was, it was really kind of two guys that were consistent kind of yourself and then DJ. I mean, yeah. What do you tell to these young guys to help make them you know so they can be kind of consistent week in and week out this upcoming season? Rep repetition. Just repetition. Right? Like as you can see me out here with the young, the young guy, uh, Carlos, uh, just repetition each and every day, going over your routine. Whatever your routine is, working on your technique, catching balls, watching film, whatever that may be, just keep doing it. Just keep improving your craft because you can never settle. You can never settle. Not here or the next level. Thanks, Devon. No problem. Thank you. No problem.